Miami Heat Nation. Hello, guys. My name is Trent. And over here in this channel, we are going to be covering the Miami Heat. So if you support the Miami Heat or your favorite team is the Miami Heat, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and drop a like. Most definitely helps my channel grow. Also, I do have a Miami Heat Discord server. So if you want to go join that, the link will be in the description. Now, in today's video, we are going to be talking about some trades that the Miami Heat can do this offseason. Now, we all know the Miami Heat had a very up and down season so far this year. Well, the season's pretty much over. We finished in AFC with a record of 44 and 38. Now, we are in the postseason. We did not expect to be the AFC. We at least expected to be a top six seed. But, hey, it is what it is. Unfortunately, we are playing the Milwaukee Bucks. We are up 1-0, but we all know as Miami Heat fans... We're most likely going to lose a series. Maybe we can, you know, drag it out to six, maybe seven. But with Tyler Hero having a broken hand, it's just going to be very, very hard. But during the offseason, it is going to come real, real soon. And we all know we made no moves. The only person that we really, really brought in was Cody Zeller and Kevin Love. And believe it or not, there were some very, very solid pickups. But that's just not enough to win a championship. One player that I think will be available this offseason is going to be point guard Trey Young. Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks, on the other hand, have been very toxic. Trey Young has been yelling at coaches. We've been seeing this on live TV. He's yelling at assistant coaches, yelling at players. His attitude is just absolutely awful. And maybe that plays a part of why the Atlanta Hawks are just not a good team this year. They were 500 all year with a record of 41 and 41. And even a report came out that the front office may be looking to trade Trey Young. Now, maybe this can be false. Maybe this is all fake. But I do believe Trey Young is very frustrated with the Atlanta Hawks that they're not winning. Because I remember a few seasons ago where the Atlanta Hawks were like in the Eastern Conference Finals around there. The season after that, he said, we don't really care about the regular season. We just want to get in the playoffs and we're going to ball. And ever since then, it has been a huge disaster for the Atlanta Hawks. And you know, they're not really improving their roster. They try to make little moves, but they're just not good enough in the Eastern Conference. And I think it's just time to move on from Trey Young. Now, the Miami Heat, on the other hand, we all know what we are, right? We have a great culture. We have a solid head coach. We do have a good front office. Just this year has been very, very mediocre, but that can all change if Pat Riley wakes up and stop and is not called Sleepy Riley no more and trades for Trey Young, right? I'll be all for it, even though Trey Young's having a up and down season he's still averaging 26 points a game shooting 43 percent from the field at close to 34 percent from the three-point line three rebounds and 10.2 assists he's only 24 years old and if he's going to come to a team and his attitude is going to change it's going to be the miami heat because pat riley is gonna and eric spo are definitely going to get on his back we've seen this team you know getting huge, huge arguments. They don't care if you're the best player. They don't care if you're the superstar. They are going to get on your back because they care about winning. This is a winning franchise. And so we can definitely trade, uh, definitely train Trey Young to fix that damn attitude and just play basketball. Because at this point, you know, I don't think a Tyler Harrell and Bam Adebayo can win his championships. I really don't. You know, I think Bam took a step back later in the season. Tyler Harrell just had an up and down the year. Jimmy Butler is Jimmy Butler, but we need help. And if it's trading Tyler Harrow away, I'm sorry, but I'm all for it. I think Trey Young is obviously way better than Tyler Harrow. And if I had to build with Trey Young and Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, I'll be all for it, right? Even when Jimmy Butler, you know, retires or his contract is up, I would be more comfortable with Trey and Bam on my team personally because I just haven't seen enough from Tyler Harrow. Now, even though Trey Young's having a not the greatest season, but I've seen enough. He carried his team to the Eastern Conference Finals. Tyler Harrow, on the other hand, every time the postseason pulls up, he just isn't playing good basketball, down with injuries, playing mediocre. We don't need that, right? And so that's why I just want to talk to you all. How do you feel about, you know, the Miami Heat potentially trading for Trey Young, right? Like I said, I feel like he's going to be available with all these rumors coming out. But if y'all enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop that like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications once again. And I'm out of here. Peace.